All right. He's on one, baby. Fourth. He's got it. Oh, that's a legit! Oh, dude, that's a legit one. Right. Welcome back to another episode of Chile. Head out to the ocean, and we're gonna do some crab snaring, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go check out the herring scene and see what's going on with that because they haven't got their spawn on yet or they're doing it late at night when no one's watching <laughs> so we're gonna go find out where they are and i'll give you guys a report on that but we're gonna head out to go crabbing right now and hopefully we'll get a few crabs carlos ahead of me by about five crabs right now for the year me and carlos have a very uh interesting relation when it comes to crabbing we uh we are on a competition and he's about five crabs ahead of me so my goal is to make sure that he doesn't get ahead of me too far and you guys don't know me i don't like the cold crab snaring can be a great winter pastime when the ocean conditions are rough all you need is a crab snare that is bought at a local tackle shop the snare is tied directly to the main line of the fishing pole. Bait such as squid is commonly used and is packed inside of the snare itself. Bait such as herring, mackerel, and jack smell are also good alternatives. It's just important that the bait has scent that can attract the crabs. You will also need a good 10 to 12 foot surf casting rod and a sturdy reel to retrieve the crabs from the surf line. Finally, a good pair of waders is a must when surf fishing. You will need to get knee deep into the water to cast the snare into the surf line. On this day, Carlos and I were also joined by Fernando. He's a great kayak angler and a friend. However, today he had on his teacher's cap. He was ready to take Carlos and I to crab school. All right, guys, check this out. I got myself some lullaberry jam that Fernando hooked me up with. They're hand-picked in San Jose. These are like the best berries for pie, for putting on ice cream, eating with toast. It's oh, really boy. good, handmade, homemade. Make it. Woohoo! Lala berry jam. I gotta say, I've been crab snaring at this beach multiple times and it has never treated me well. However, all great things take time and progress. On this trip, I got my first crab from the surf line. Although it was an undersized, I was still excited that I got a crab. And there it is, my teeny tiny crab. Ah, oh, I just got one, baby. Yeah. Got my first undersized crab. Snaring. Yeah. And look it. Fernando's on one too. Let's go. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> I'm going to let this one go. We're going to get back on it. Oh, that's a little tiny one. Let me see that. Ah, oh, there it is. You got it. Small one. Ah, oh, it's a shorty. Oh, Carlos. Carlos, what happened? What happened? For a little while, the crabbing definitely picked up and the people to the left and right of us were pulling in some legal and undersized Dungeness crab. So that was definitely a good sign as the people were actually pulling in something. They got one. He's got a oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, baby. He's got first, one. First pull, man. That first pull. This one looks uh, rather. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be close. Cool. Yeah, it's probably just short. Oh uh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What do you got there? Oh no, it has a crack in the. Oh no! <laughs> we can't that's film it. Yeah, that's a keeper. Is a keeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, hell yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, 
five and three quarters. So oh yeah, you got one. What's up? No. A few hours here. We got a few small ones. And our Dungeoness Craft Master has told us to, uh, that we need to move. So after a few hours here, we are going to move. In the second honey hole. The second honey hole. Yeah! All right. He's on one, baby. Oh, got it. Oh, that's a legit. Oh, dude, that's a legit one. Holy smokes. That's a good one. That's a good one, baby. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that, bad boy. Nice. That is sick. Right on. Last minute. That's how you do it, Carlos. That's how you do it. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna do now, huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, what are we looking at here? Six and a half at least. That lies. Six and three quarters. All right, oh. on. This guy's uh, in the deep dive right spot right here. Right here. Right here. I wasn't even going to cast, you guys cast one more time, so I'm like, well, I better cast two. You right. didn't cast that far either, right? Yeah, no. Nope. Okay, nice. you cast it one more time. Ah. Fernando's on another one. I need two small ones. Oh, he got two! Holy smokes! He got two, two shorts. He got two. Right here, oh, holy yeah. smokes. Someone, someone, right. I mean, can I trade this for a nine inch? Let's do this one, this one looks Pretty nice. I don't know. He's, he's dude. The man's on fire, bro. We can't even get one. And short. 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 A fairly exciting day for Fernando. <laughs> for Fernando, Carlos, and I. We got skunked. But I got one undersized. Got got one, one undersized. I got one undersized, and yeah. so the good thing about that is that we're still we're still at not some zero. Well, five above. Five above. Five above, five me, above me still. Okay. But he's not a pulling ahead, so that's that. I'll take that as a win. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Is that it? Is that what I say? That's it. <laughs>